What's going on everybody, it's Jay Wilson. And of course, it wouldn't be a trip to the OCA if we didn't get to see Cunningham Cichlids' beautiful aquariums. So here you're looking at the, look at this. Look at this Phenichalis male. If you know Josh Cunningham, go to his website, cunninghamcichlids.com. Drop him an email if you're looking for something specific, but the dude has absolutely killed it in Lake Malawi. He is just, and he's branched out. House of Cichlids, what's going on, brother? He just brought back some angels. I believe those are upstairs, but I'm not an angel guy, but this, bl look. Josh, what are these called? These black ones. What are these black angels called? I don't know, something about black veils. Double black veils. Double black veils. I am doing well, thank you for asking. But So Josh, if you remember last year, we had 84 tanks. Well, that number has been upped and he is crushing it. You have not seen breeder tanks like this anywhere in this area that I could say I have put my eyes on because he takes such good care of his fish and he provides them with the best, best environment. Good day from Michigan, my friend there down in Australia. Yeah, I will tell Josh those are nice tanks. But if you guys have questions, let me know right now so that I can get those questions to Josh and we can get those answers to you. But his ability to display these breeder tanks are ridiculous. He, he went after Universal Rock stuff, so it really, really set the tone for some of his aquariums. But the colors on his males, I mean, look at this. Super, super lush in Cunningham Squids. It's almost like I need to come back to Lake Malawi just to support Josh. Are, am I still a Tom Brady fan? I would assume that something happened today, but I didn't see it because I was working. Look at the racks. 10-6 pats right now. So f f give me some feedback on what, why I shouldn't like Tom Brady right now. He's even got this awesome green algae building up on some of his rocks. And his fry collection, not like french fries, but his fry collection is just impeccable right now. He brought these bad boys back. You said from Mexico, right? Yes. So some Texas cichlids from Mexico. He got them, he brought them back in a Gatorade bottle and all of them survived. And now they're getting ready potentially to start breeding. So he's gonna have to move them into a larger aquarium. But no matter where you turn in this room, still just fry and fish, more fish, more fish. What are your tips for a novice? Do your research. Do your research, Josh said. One, in one of my videos, I wore a Brady shirt and you were pumped. <laughs> What's the size? What size of the most tanks do you have? Uh, probably 40 gallons. So his 40 gallons are probably the most that he has. But I mean, look at this specimen. If you're into African cichlids, you're into Josh Cunningham. I mean, look at that guy. <laughs> I will say though, he's done an exceptional job. I'll show you here in a moment, but he's done a wonderful job at automating most of his tanks. Now I couldn't automate all of them for a few reasons. We'll have him explain his system here in a few moments, but look at this, just scooting across. He's got a ton of them. House of Cichlids, I, I, I will not be able to make it out to Chicago, but I know that the GCCA swap is absolutely ridiculously awesome. And at some point I want to be there. John, I appreciate you enjoying the videos. This was a little bit of a impromptu live video because I thought it would be really neat to showcase some of the amazing things that he's got all over this basement. 
I mean, as far as keeping specific fish as a novice, I don't see why you couldn't keep pretty much any hap or peacock. I mean, as long as you have the right space, I don't see why it would be any more difficult than keeping any of the imbuna. Look at this. Uh-oh. He is not giving it up. Or did he eat it already? That dude sucked it all down. Back here. Right. No, it's good. It's good. Yep. Look at this jerk. Oh, he's hiding behind the filters. Can you see him? There he goes. Well, apparently he really liked that snack. Check out these gar. It, it's, I'm, I'm telling you, when you know how to handle these things, you just, you just seem to be killing it on all levels with this stuff. I am not bringing home any fish. I was, I was asked by Big Rich if he gave me a three foot platinum red tail catfish if I would bring it home and I, I said no because <laughs> I have no room. But when I see some of these, look at this. Bang, we're just feeding. Ooh, look at that. Thirsty. These are thirsty fish. Not giving it up. Must be the ostrich Edelman with this reception. Somebody's talking football. Look at, the, look at these guys just crushing this frozen krill. So why do you feed frozen krills? Just as a treat every once in a while, a couple times a week, they get frozen foods. So he's supplementing some frozen fruits to try to help stimulate some breeding. Gives them that little bump in protein I would anticipate. Look at it. They're gonna go up straight up top for it. Go! I already went to something fishy. Dave Hale and I had a little hangout session there. Dude, Josh's, Josh's colors on his fish are ridiculous. I mean, look at all the fry. All the fry. No, I have not done a video, but Dave Hale and I have uh, definitely hung out, and Dave Hale's got a great store, so go check it out if you're in that area. I mean, you know the drill. I'm there if I'm in that area as well. Now, Josh just brought these home. And Josh said, if anyone super chats $550, he'll send them to him. But you have to super chat me the $550 for them. <laughs> I mean, he's got, look at this. It's just row after row of meticulous aquariums. The only thing that I think would drive me nuts is salt creep all day long. And Josh does a really good job of keeping that salt creep down. I mean, look at this male. My golly. You can see the separation in color. Uh, what he's using, these are called box filters. It's so you can fit more media in them and polish a little bit better than just your standard sponge filter. Uh, so they're not covered sponge filters but called box filters and you can get them to fit in the corners or they can be this shape as well. And it, it's really cool because you have the ability to customize it to however you see fit. Look at that male. Good. Uh Oh, big daddy cane over here. Look at the size of this Christy eye guys. He's a mean one. Let's see if he comes and grabs this food. Look at the mouth on him. Josh just knows how to take care of his fish. Dude, I think there's like a Universal Rocks background in almost every tank you have in here. Almost. <laughs> there will be when I'm done, but not yet. Good grief. I want to show you something really cool. Look at that red cap. 
Let's see if we can move the light a little forward on them. Look at that. No enhancements whatsoever. A, a, an underrated fish in my opinion. If somebody had a six foot tank that they wanted to do, or maybe even just a deep 120, and you did a little breeding group of these hot rods, look at the colors that they throw off. It's crazy. Universal Rocks discount code, Josh Rocks 550. <laughs> Fish Mob Brave, have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. You as well. Look at, he is chipping out. Chipping, chipping, chipping out. So here's the deal. Whew. Just fry galore. Fry, 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 fry. So being here is always fun. First of all, Josh is a good dude. Yes, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, leave a comment. Josh is working on potentially getting his website back up because he does have some really, really neat fry to sell. But as we know, it's become increasingly harder with social media cracking down and things like that. But the idea is that it's ultimately going to open him up to a far greater audience. And honestly, with the amount of work Josh does and how he does things, it's not that he deserves it, but he, we deserve to see these fish and get them out to the mass market because he's good at what he does. Oh, you need one of these fridge shirts, huh? Pretty lush. Fish mob raid. Man, there's like, what is this fish mob raid? There's like 30 of them in here. But it's, it's all good. If you guys are enjoying fish, then so am I. But I just wanted to take this moment to show Josh's fish room in a different way and wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving or whatever you're celebrating this week. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it with family and you are safe. Remember to do your water changes because it is up to you to keep your fish alive during the holidays. Stopped by to show some support. Love what you do. Josh, you're the man. Fish Mob is spreading the love of fish. Well, keep on keeping those cichlids. Check out CunninghamCichlids.com. Follow him on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever he's posting. And you know what is next. Actually, let me, let me prepare this because I have to hit the X button. Do your water changes. Have a great week. Ow!